Megan and today I'm going to share with you my current skincare routine. So I feel like I've been doing like a pretty similar routine for like two months now. So I wanted to share with you guys the products that I'm using before I use them up because <laughs> some of these are really really close to being done and I wanted to just show you guys what I've been using morning and night in all of my different steps. So like cleansing, um, exfoliating, serums, moisturizer, all that good stuff. Um, so I'm just going to start with my like evening routine and show you guys like different cleansers for like day and night and then different moisturizers for day and night because everything else is pretty much like the same. So when I am ready to take off my makeup, I've been using these Color Science Hydrating Cleansing Cloths. I'm almost done with these and they sent these to me around Black Friday. I actually have some swatches that it looks like blood but it is just swatches but I'm going to um just demonstrate these to you guys so um I normally don't use like makeup wipes or anything these are like pretty large in my opinion for like a makeup wipe and it has like a subtle texture on one side and so I just wipe this all over my whole face and let's see how these remove liquid lipstick. That is pretty impressive. So I haven't, wow, I have some on this side of my hand. That is weird. Um, so I use this for all over my face and then I get like in my eyebrows and stuff and I try to take a little bit over my eyes, but it doesn't really take off my mascara and stuff. So what I do is I fold it up after I've like used it and then I take my Garnier Micellar Water, the waterproof one. I shake this up because it's a two-phased, um, it's like oil and then like a watery. And then I just pour some on here and then I put it on my eyes to remove my eye makeup. So I feel like that helps with like not using a cotton pad in addition to like a cleansing wipe. And when these are like done, when I finish these, I'm not going to repurchase. It's not a product I need to remove my makeup. Honestly, I still prefer the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I sometimes use this in addition to the wipe. So I'll like wipe everything off and then I'll just take a little bit of this and like run it all over my face and my eyes and it just breaks up any like residual makeup. I also really love the Fresh Seaberry um, Cleansing Oil. I use this very sparingly because I love it. And um, this is in a plastic bottle even though it looks like super like chic and like glass. I'm glad that it's in plastic because I'm very clumsy. So I use that, um, those products either by themselves to remove my makeup or in addition to the cleansing cloth just to make sure I have everything off my skin. And then in the mornings before I go to work and in the evening um, after I remove my makeup, I've been using the uh, Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I love Fresh. Like, Literally, I just adore them. This is not sponsored by Fresh, but I would love to work with Fresh one day. Um, this is one of my favorite cleansers. I just really love it. It's like a jelly kind of a cleanser. So it's like a clear gel. And so I just apply this on dry skin and I work it in. And as you like work it in, oh my God, smells like cucumbers. Um, it gets like a little bit of a lather, but then when you um, add water to it, it definitely like, not sudses, but it gets like a little more milky. And then you just rinse it off and it rinses completely clean, which I love. And then when I take a shower either at night or in the morning, I use the First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser. I've like cut this open to get every last drop out because there's a lot like at the bottom that you can't squeeze out. And I've been using my Clarisonic, which I have not used a Clarisonic for years, but I'm very glad that I kept it for all these years. I use the Cashmere Cleanse brush head, which I just think is so much more gentle. And a Clarisonic just vibrates. It doesn't like spin. Um, and I think that this brush head is the most gentle out of all the ones that they have. So this is the Mia 2. They don't sell this version anymore, but you can still get Clarisonics and these brush heads. And I just really like it with this cleanser. I was using this cleanser before I rediscovered the Clarisonic, um, just with my hands, and it's one of my favorite cleansers that way too. But especially with the Clarisonic, it just really, really cleans my skin 
amazingly like without making it dry but it still cleanses it like to perfection so love this stuff and love the Clarisonic then when I want to do a little bit of exfoliation I use the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads I have used so many of these up and I'm just using this small um, 28 count right now and I store them upside down because they are like little pads in here and um, I just use one wipe it all over my face and like I lift up when I'm doing it on my neck to try to prevent the double chin from getting any worse, but this is just one of my tried and true products and it's super gentle on my sensitive skin. And then sometimes at night when I want a little more exfoliation, like if I notice my nose just is a little more clogged than normal, I have the Polish Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. This stuff is awesome to keep on hand. Like, I'm almost done with this, and it's just something I like to have just in case I need it. Because I feel like every, like, two weeks or something, I'll use this. I should probably use it more often. It says use once or twice daily, so I guess you could use it every single day. Um, but I like to use it either with the Shiseido cotton pads. I recently got these from Marshalls. They're just, like, the softest little cotton pads ever. Or I like to use these reusable ones. So I mentioned these two guys a while ago. Um, these are like cloth um, cotton pads you can wash. So as you can see, maybe they have a little bit of staining, like slight staining, because I use them also to remove my eye makeup when I am not using the cleansing wipes. Um, so they can get a little bit stained, but every like other time I wash these or something I just put in a little bit of bleach because I use like white sheets white towels and these are also white so adding in just like a bit of bleach will help just to not have them look so stained but these are just awesome they're super super soft and um, they do a nice job with the toner or that exfoliant as well because you just put it on here and then you just wipe it all over your face and they're like bigger than normal cotton pads they're at least the cotton pads I use. So those have been really nice to have on hand. And then for like a little spritz or ex um, essence, I am trying to use up the Pyeon King Yule Essence Toner. This is lasting forever as I figured it would and as you guys told me it would. Um, but I do two layers of this when I want a little extra hydration on my skin, either day or night. I don't really have a preference just whenever I feel like I want to use it so it's just like a liquid and I just put some in my hands rub my hands together and then just press it into my skin and it's just really nice it's like a little more viscous than water but it doesn't feel like heavy or sticky on the skin and then sometimes in the morning I like to use the fresh vitamin nectar antioxidant glow water this is just like a little spray it has like the nicest spray and it smells citrusy so I really really like this in the morning just like spritz on my face wakes me up it's just so like nice it's not a necessity by any means but I have it and it's definitely fun to use this is something I haven't used yet, but I just wanted to ask you guys if you've ever used them. They, um, Hum sent these to me. They're the Mighty Night, um, like, supplements. It says, helps overnight skin renewal for skin and body. Or did I say skin renewal? Cell renewal. Um, so stuff like this makes me nervous, but it says that it's, like, supposed to help your skin with the most absorbable form of CoQ10, and I don't know it's kind of intriguing to me there's enough for a month so I might do like a some sort of test with these to show you guys if they're if they actually do anything but yeah let me know if you use them because they've just been sitting here because I'm just like nervous about them then for serums in the daytime I don't always use a serum but I really do like the Saturday skin bright potion probiotic power serum this is like the most gorgeous bottle ever I love that it's a pump and especially now that it's colder out this um like texture it's like a kind of like a I don't know what it is not like it's not as sticky as honey but it's like a little bit like 
sticky um but it blends super nicely and it's like a little bit hydrating in addition to um like brightening so I really really like this under my um, moisturizer in the morning sometimes I use it at night but most recently I've been using my Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate this is my jumbo bottle I haven't broken into yet I just finished my like one ounce bottle or whatever so that is my favorite nighttime serum ever um, it's an oil that also has like serum benefits to it so that is awesome if I want to add more hydration to my skin, the Skin Fix Barrier Plus Lipid Boost Jelly Super Hydrating Serum is my favorite. So this is like, basically it looks like a moisturizer. It's like a lotion and it just is super thin and just adds that like amazing layer of moisture in a really lightweight way. So I feel like if you have dehydrated skin or oily skin and you want to add like moisture but not be heavy this stuff is awesome i really really like this and yeah i just love that it's called like a jelly serum it's so fun it's basically just like kind of a moisturizer but you can layer it under your moisturizer or use it as like a moisturizer and then I've been playing around with these from Sweet Chef. This is the sister brand to Glow Recipe. And you can get these at Target. It's like a little set for $10. And it's three different um, serums. So they have the Ginger Vitamin C, which brightens dark spots and uneven skin tone. I love how on the bottles it explains like what it is. Sorry, I'm like covering it up. But it says literally what it is supposed to do. So the beet is supposed to refine pores and smooth rough skin and the kale hydrates and soothes dry skin. So I really like these, but the droppers suck. They do not really work. So even when you like use it, it like doesn't. Okay, so now it's proving me wrong, but it doesn't really get much in the container. So a lot of the times I just like get some on here and I like rub it on my skin so the dropper doesn't always work but i like having the different like reasons of why you're using them written on the bottle like it just makes it so clear and so when i'm like oh my skin's dry then i use the kale if my skin needs like a little exfoliation i'll use the beet so i just think that's nice and it's a really good price point and much more accessible since it's at target then Moisturizer is one of my favorite steps. In the daytime, I've been using the Clinique Moisture Surge. This is like the end all be all daytime moisturizer to me. Um, it's like a gel cream. I'm halfway done with this one and I have many backups of this. I swear this is my, probably my holy grail moisturizer. If I could only have one moisturizer, it would be this. It works for nighttime, it works for daytime. And right now I've just been using it in the day. At night, I'm using the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream. This is just their little travel size. And this is more of like a more heavy duty like moisturizing cream, which is great for nighttime. Um, it's not too heavy though. It's not greasy feeling. It's just really a dream, like it says in the name. So I really love that. And then when I want to pamper myself a little bit, I use the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Sleeping Mask. So this has a jelly essence on one side and then a like creamy moisturizer on the other. The creamy moisturizer is a little bit not greasy, but it doesn't sink all the way into the skin, which I like because it gives your skin like that glow. It's so pretty. But I know some people don't like when products sit on the skin. So just be aware of that but this is amazing so luxurious makes my skin so hydrated and plump and glowy i adore this and I, I just love it and then i don't normally use eye cream but i've rediscovered the saturday skin wide awake brightening eye cream i love the travel size that's in the squeezy tube of course my battery died right as i was at the end of the video but i just take a little bit on my ring finger and i just like press my two ring fingers together and then I like tap it under my eyes and like on my brow bone this stuff I don't know if I'm just imagining things but I swear when I apply this at night 
and I sleep and I wake up in the morning, my eyes are less puffy. I don't know if I'm crazy or not, but it also is nice under makeup so I can use it day or night. I just really, really like this. I like the texture. It's not greasy. It's not sticky. It's just really good. Saturday Skin does moisturizing products beautifully. Their moisturizers are some of my favorites. So that is everything. Oh, and I also have been using the Sarah Hap Pink Peppermint Lip Treatment Duo. So this has a lip scrub and a lip like moisturizer. Sorry, I'm a little out of breath because I just ran up and down the stairs. But the peppermint um, scrub, it's like a little bit not pepperminty. Like I wish it was more pepperminty. But it feels really good on the lips. It definitely scrubs them nicely. I have a piece of hair stuck on it. I can't find where it is. Okay, there it is. That's nice. Um, and then the lip slip. It is just in her normal scent. I wish this would have also been peppermint. But this is almost like a lip gloss. Like in a container. So this is like literally like a lip gloss almost. So let me just apply some. And it's like a lip treatment, but it's also like a lip gloss. So you could use this day or night for sure. But I just like having it in this little box. It makes me feel fancy and special. <laughs> so that is everything for my skincare routine day and night. And if you have any questions or anything like that, let me know in the comments below. I do mask, like sheet mask. I try to do it twice a week and then like a clay mask or whatever. I just do that as needed. I don't really prefer those. I do like sheet masks more. But yeah, so now I have so much on my lips. So I'm gonna go. But thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope this was informative and helpful. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in another day of Vlogmas. See ya!